I'll say this for the Champions League quarterfinals. They're rarely boring, and tonight did not disappoint. Liverpool drew 3-3 with Benfica. Uh, Kanate scored a goal off in the, in the corner kick in the first half, followed by uh, Goncalo Ramos, 32nd minute, made it 1-1 at halftime. Roberto Firmino scored two goals, uh, in the 50, one in the 55th, one in the 65th. Pretty much ended the tie, made it 3-1, and on aggregate the score was 6-2-2. Uh, and uh, even though Benfica scored a couple goals late uh, by uh, Yamachuk and Nunez, uh, the game was pretty much over by that point. Now Liverpool will go forth and play uh, Villarreal. Villarreal in La Liga is one thing, but Villarreal uh, and under Umay Emery in Europe is a different ball, of, different kettle of fish. So we'll see how that plays out. So Liverpool will play Villarreal. The one game that I was more interested in was the Atletico Madrid-Manchester City game. And that ended up nil-nil. And even though Manchester City had more possession in the game, uh, Atletico Madri uh, Madrid was a, a lot more uh, willing to go forward and a lot more willing to uh, uh, to try and test uh, Manchester City. And Manchester City really didn't put a lot of do have a lot of shots on goal. I think they only had one shot on goal. And then they also needed uh, Ederson to stop, uh, made it make a, make a, a great save that he did uh, late in the game. Actually, a couple great saves late in the game to uh, keep uh, uh, Atletico Madrid at bay. Um, as far as, yeah, as far, but as far as this game was concerned, uh, this was a absolutely a uh, an exciting game to watch to see if Atletico Madrid could get the goal and, and have put make it one one, take it to extra time. Uh, later, later in the game, really about the 88th, 89th minute, uh, Felipe came and did something. Rather, first, he make, makes a great tackle on Foden, and then he clips him in the back and gets himself a second yellow card and gets himself ejected from the game. So even if Atletico Madrid had gotten that goal and drawn the game one to one and taken it extra time, they would have had to play that game a man down, a man down, and. That would have been a little bit difficult. But based on how Manchester City was playing uh, and their inability to uh, pepper uh, the goal, the Atletico Madrid goal, uh, and make, uh, uh, and make uh, um, Oblik work, I don't know how much. It probably would have ended up going to penalty kicks. Uh, I, I think in this game, the team that looked more likely to score was Atletico Madrid. Uh, Manchester City certainly could have used help from having a center forward if they had one. But credit to Atletico Madrid. They played a very good game. They played a uh, – they, 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 they did go forward. I thought they brought on Suarez a bit late than I would have. I would have brought Suarez on in the 70th minute. But uh, all credit to uh, uh, Manchester City, who will now go on face Real Madrid. So you have – Two La Liga teams in the semifinals and two Premier League teams in the semifinal. And most people would probably put their money on Liverpool versus Manchester City. And if they play anything like they did the past Sunday, then that should be for an exciting final. But I'm not going to overlook Manchester City. I'm certainly not going to overlook Villarreal. Like I said, Unai Emery managing Villarreal in Europe is a different kettle of fish than he is in La Liga. Real Madrid... Did not play very well yesterday, but they still found a way to get through Chelsea. Chelsea, who did play very well. So if I were to give my my prediction, I think Liverpool is going to go through against Villarreal, and I'm going to lean on Manchester City. Now, it did look like De Bruyne did go out hurt. I don't know if, if he is or if he isn't. I didn't hear anything about that. I don't know anything about that. But in a couple of weeks, we're going to be treated to Real Madrid versus Manchester City, and Liverpool versus Villarreal. Very, very interesting turn of events. Now, like I said, if we end up with Manchester City and Liverpool and they play like they did this past Sunday, then we are really going to be in for a good final. And hopefully they play like they, they don't. Hopefully they don't. Well, they're, they're not the kind of team, teams that do that. Now, they both have won Champions League. Uh, Jurgen Klopp won one uh, over Tottenham. And um, now. The last time Pep Guardiola won a Champions League was with Barcelona, but he did make it to the final last year. And uh, usually you tend to win your second go-around uh, after, after you've failed with your first. So I'm going to be very, very interested to see how that turns out. But the Champions League semifinals are set. I think we're going to get a Liverpool-Manchester City final, but it would not surprise me if Real Madrid 
and Villarreal got into the final as well. We're in for a good, good, good trip. Hit a, hit a like on this video if you like it, and please subscribe and tell me if I'm doing bad or tell me if I'm doing poor. Tell me, tell me something, because I'm going to hopefully be doing a lot more of these.